going to make a bass guitar out of a bucket. First thing you have to do is poke a hole in the bottom of the bucket. No, actually, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're never going to put water in the bucket again because it won't hold water. All right, then tie a knot in the end of the rope and pull the rope through the bucket like this. Then stand on the rope and pull it very tight. Pull it tight, 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 and then pluck the string and you will hear music like this. When it comes to the great bass players in the world, I pale in comparison. Yes. Then, the other thing you can do with this bucket is you can place it on the ground and hold a stick up to it to hold the rope like this. Put a notch in the bottom of the stick and a notch in the top of the stick to hold the rope. The bottom of the stick hooks on the side of the bucket. Then put your heel over here. Don't interfere with the top of it like a drum. If you have your foot right on top, it's not going to sound as nice. See, just off to the side like this. Then when you pull, it stretches the rope, makes it tighter, makes a higher note like this. Listen to this. Music! Or you can get a cloth, put some water on your cloth, and then grab the rope with the cloth and squeeze tight. Then it's as if you're playing an upright bass, a bass fiddle with a bow. The cloth becomes the bow, the water on the cloth becomes the rosin on the bow, and the bucket becomes the resonating chamber. Listen to the sound. Here we go. <laughs> Beautiful music! <laughs>